Apalit, officially the municipality of Apalit, is a first-class municipality in the province of Pampanga, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 107,965 people. Apalit is surrounded by Makabibi, Masantal, Manalan and San Simon in Pampanga, and Kalampit, Pulilan, and Baliwag in Bulacan. Apalit is 55 kilometers 34 miles from Manila, 11 kilometers 6.8 miles from the provincial capital, San Fernando, and 28 kilometers 17 miles from Angeles. The town is famous for its Apo Iru fluvial procession, which is listed as one of the most significant water-based intangible cultural heritage of the Philippines. The festival happens every June 28 to 30. Barangays Apalit is politically subdivided into 12 barangays. Balukak, Nuestra Señora de la Divina Pastora. Calantapi, Sto. Niño. Cancinala, Nuestra Señora del Rosario. Capilangan, Holy Cross. Colgante, Holy Family. Palagui, Chair of St. Peter, Apu Iru. Sampaloc, San Roque, San Juan, San Juan Nepomuceno, Poblacion, San Vicente, San Vicente Ferrer, Business District, Sucad, Sta. Lucia, Sulapan, Christ the Eternal High Priest, Tabuyak, Santo Rosario. Demographics. In the 2015 census, the population of Apalit was 107,965 people, with a density of 1,800 inhabitants per square kilometer or 4,700 inhabitants per square mile. Local government Like other towns in the Philippines, Apalit is governed by a mayor and vice mayor who are elected to three-year terms. The mayor is the executive head and leads the town's departments in executing the ordinances and improving public services. The vice mayor heads a legislative council, Sangguniang Bayan, consisting of councillors from the barangays of Barrios. Municipal officials Elected officials 2016 Mayor, Peter C. Newcomb Vice Mayor, Augusto D. Manlapas Councilors Jesus Torres Elias Mendoza III Sani Mendoza Kenneth Nunag Andrew H. Manlapas Ma. Ana Teresa Macalino Edmund Simon Fortunato Castro List of former town executives, mayors Religion Most inhabitants of Apolite are Christian, with a majority professing Catholicism. Catholicism Apolite was first established as one of the Visitas mission chapel under the administration of Convento de Calumpit. In 1597, the Augustinian chapter accepted Apolite as house of order under the advocacy of San Pedro Apostol where Fray Pedro de Vergara OSA as its first parish priest in conjunction with the annual town fiesta. The Labad was established by the Capitan del Pueblo, Don Pedro Armian Espiritu y Macam, on June 28, 1844, Labad fluvial procession also reaching Calumpit even today to signify the old relationship of Apolite to its mother town Calumpit where San Juan Bautista Batista is the patron of the town. The first church and convento was constructed under the tenure of Fray Juan Cabello as parish priest from 1641 to 1645. Fray Simón de Alarcha built another church made of concrete and tile in 1854 to 1860, but it was destroyed by a strong earthquake in 1863. The present neoclassical church was built under Fray Antonio Redondo, who was assigned to Apolite from 1873 to 1886. Father Guyende wrote in La Iglesia de Apolite. 
Father Antonio Redondo, parish priest of Apolite from 1873 to 1886 laid the foundations of a new one in January 1876, following the plans of Don Ramon Hermosa, assistant officer to the Minister of Public Works. The foreman was a certain Mariano Santos, a native of Guagua. After seven years of work, the church was finally completed in 1883. It was the pride of Pampanga, an indelible tribute to Fr. Redondo and the people of Apolite. It was officially inaugurated with solemn ceremonies held successively during the town fiesta from 28 to 30 June of the same year. The chronicler remarks that when there was no more sand or bricks, Fr. Redondo would ask the fiscal sacristan to go around town peeling the bells. Preceded by the town bands, he would lead the way towards the riverside with an as a fate, a basket or hamper, on his head. Unquestioning, the whole town would follow him, and in less than two hours, the masons would have enough sand for two months. The whole town of Apolite helped either with monetary donations, personal service, or with their good wishes. The church measures 59 meters long and 14 meters wide. The painting was done by a native of Apolite, an industrious pupil of Alberoni. The church possesses the qualities of good construction. Solidity, capacity, light and artistic beauty. The towers were completed under the guidance of Rev. Toribio Fangel in 1896. In 1989, a major church renovation was initiated by Monsignor Rustico G. Cuevas. Feast of St. Peter the Labad, a fluvial procession in honor of the town's patron St. Peter the Apostle, known locally as Pung Iru, is annually from 28 to 30 June. The event, where a centuries-old ivory image of the Apostle is paraded along the Pampanga River, is one of the more famous religious processions in Pampanga. History of the image The life-sized, seated image of a Pung Iru is an heirloom of the Armian Espiritu y Macam clan of Sitio Alauli, San Vicente, Apolite. The image, with its ivory face and hands, dates from the last quarter of the 1700s. Family tradition has it that Don Pedro Armian Espiritu y Macam, d. 1904, or his parents Don Calixto Armian Espiritu and Doña Maria Macam, acquired the image from an aunt, Doña Maxima Santos, in exchange for a considerable parcel of agricultural land in Apolite. During the Spanish colonial era, Spanish friars shrewdly assigned the ownership of the town's patron saint to wealthy families, so that the former could be spared the expenses of its upkeep and annual fiesta. The first Labad was held in 1844. Custody of the image of a Pung Iru has passed to the direct descendants of Don Pedro Armian Espiritu y Macam, who married three times, first to Doña Dorotea Arnado, then Maxima Santa Rita, and finally Isabel Dungo y Nocom. Don Pedro originally bequeathed the image to his favorite, his youngest daughter Doña Isidora. Orang. Espiritu y Dungo, later Mrs. Jesus Justo Gonzalez, but she did not want the responsibility of being the image's camarera custodian. She passed it on to her elder, spinster sister Doña Araya Ondang, Espiritu y Dungo. After Doña Araya's early death, Don Pedro S. eldest daughter Doña Maria Maruja Espiritu y Dungo, later Mrs. Macario Arnado, became the image. S. Camarera. In 1928, Doña Maria translated the image of a Pung Iru from the Armian Espiritu ancestral home in Sitio Alauli in Barangay San Vicente to her house in Barrio Capilangan, where it has remained since. Doña Maria died in 1934, and her second daughter Doña Isabel. Tabing. Arnado y Espiritu, later Mrs. Fernando Duenas Reyes, became the image. S. Camarera until her own death in 1970. Doña Maria's third daughter, Doña Rosario Lucia. Charing. Arnado y Espiritu, later Mrs. Augusto Diosdado Cioco Gonzalez, became Camarera until her death in May 1977. The youngest daughter, Doña Elisa Juana. Icing. Arnado y Espiritu, later Mrs. Fortunato Cabiling Sazan, became the next Camarera until her death in May 1987. Doña Elisa. 
South eldest daughter, Dr. Orlinda Crispina Linda Arnado Sazan, later Mrs. Enrique Espiritu Badenhop, succeeded her mother as camarera from until her own death in February 2008. Augusto Marcelino Toto, Reyes Gonzalez III, Doña Rosario. S. grandson from her eldest son, Augusto Beta, is the current Camarero of Apung Iru, following a stipulation that Doña Rosario and Doña Isidora made to the family in 1970. In 1975, Doña Isidora, Doña Rosario, and the latter's son brother Andrew Benjamin Gonzalez, FSC, established St. Peter. S. Mission, Inc. with the stipulation that a Pung Iru and his feast be maintained by the generations to come. Iglesia ni Cristo Most of the barangays in Apolite has a house of worship of the Iglesia ni Cristo. Biggest locales of the church are located in Brigi Balucic and in San Vicente. Members Church of God International in the province of Pampanga located the main headquarters of the Members Church of God International also known as Ang Dating Don, headed by Bro. Alicio F. Soriano. The compound itself is more than 50 hectares, and contains the ADD Convention Center, which seats some 100,000 people, the Central Administration Office, and tertiary institution La Verdad Christian College. Non-profit facilities like the hospital, transient homes, dormitory, orphanage are also inside the compound. It hosts major church events like the weekly Pasalamat Thanksgiving and the quarterly Pasalamat ng Buong Bayan PBB Thanksgiving of God's People Mass Indoctrination, Mass Baptisms, Bible Expositions, UNTV Cup, Concerts, Bible Festival, and Music Festivals. Infrastructure Transportation Major roads and bridges MacArthur Highway, or the National Highway. The major road going to Apolite. Apolite Maccabibi Masantal Road, going to the towns of Maccabibi and Masantal. Dr. Joaquin Gonzalez Avenue going to Municipal Hall, Barangay Sukad, and St. Peter's Parish. Sulapan Kapalangan Tabuyak Kansinala Road. Tabuyak Balukak Farm to Market Road, Arnado Dyke Road, Sampalok Road, Palagui Road. Public transportation Public transportation within the municipality, like in most of the urban areas in the Philippines, is facilitated mostly using inexpensive tricycles, jeepneys, and buses. Motored boats or bankas, are used to transport goods and bring people to the lowest land in case of flood in other barangays. Tricycles are used for short-distance travel. Various jeepney routes also ply the roads between Apolite and neighboring towns in Pampanga, municipalities of Maccabibi, Masantal, San Simon, Manalan and City of San Fernando, in Bulacan, Calumpit, Malolos City and Balagtas. While the FX and L300 van taxis from their terminals and provincial buses, Victory Liner and First North Luzon Transit, which passes through the MacArthur Highway, takes passengers to key places in Bulacan, Calumpit, Malolos City to Giginto Tabang Toll Plaza, the Metro, Monumento in Caloocan City, Cubao in Quezon City, Divisoria in Manila, and Pasay City, and to northern provinces, Lubao, Florida Blanca, Guagua, City of San Fernando in Pampanga, and as far as Alangapo City in Zambia. Bales. Hospitals ADD Infirmary Pampanga Premier Medical Center Apolite Doctors Hospital ASCCOMDLSUMC Friendship Hospital ED. Lim Maternity and General Hospital Telecommunication Landline Telephone Systems are being provided by the Digitel, Datalcom and PLDT. Mobile telephony services are provided by Smart Communications, Globe Telecom and Sun Cellular from Digitel. Internet services are provided through DSL and cable broadband coverage is provided by PLDT, Digitel and Globe Broadband, and wireless broadband is provided by Smart Bro, Smart Communications. Cable television are provided by DATELSAT. Education for elementary and high school education, Apolite has numerous schools. 
Private Schools Apolite Christian Ecumenical School, ACES, formerly Ecumenical Kitty Lane, EKL, Dominican School of Apolite La Verdad Christian School, Inc. Gonzales Memorial College St. Vincent's Academy St. James School Inc. Public Schools San Vicente Central School Sampaga Elementary School Jose E. Scaler Memorial School Sucad Elementary School Sucad National High School Cancinala Elementary School Cancinala National High School Sampaga High School Colgante Elementary School Sampaloc Elementary School Palagui Elementary School Balukic Elementary School Balukic High School Calantopi High School Formerly Balukic High School Annex Galing Elementary Memorial School Banag Elementary School Macario Arnado Elementary School Tabuyak Elementary School Apolite National High School Bro. Andrew Gonzalez Technical High School, formerly Apoli Technical Vocational High School, Fausto Sioko Memorial School, Sulapan Elementary School, Colleges Asian Caregiving and Technology Education Centers, ACTEC, AMA Computer Learning Center, College Eastwoods International Institute of Science and Technology, Asian College of Science and Technology, La Verdad Christian College, Inc. Notable residents, Bishop Federico O. E. Scaler, S.J. served as Bishop Ordinary of Prelature of Kitapawan. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System